Welcome to the Jongets Games tutorial for your best life. In this video, I'll be teaching you the rules to the game as it's being played, and today I'll be showing you 4 out of 10 rounds. Now, before I go into that, I would like to ask that if you enjoy this video, that you please click the like button for it down below, as well as the subscribe button for the channel. In addition to that, if you'd like to directly support the channel and gain access to a wide variety of exclusive perks, then please go to patreon.com slash Games. Some of those perks include watching my Dozens of Opinions episodes, where I go in-depth talking about the things I like and don't like about all the games that I'm playing, as well as giving you the changing opinion that I have as I keep playing games. Also, you can watch some of my videos early and advertisement free and gain access to an exclusive podcast feed where you can hear audio versions of all of the vlogs that I make, including those opinions episodes. Now, the final thing I'd like to ask is if while you're watching this video, some part of the game jumped out to you as particularly interesting, then please comment about that down below because I'd love to get that kind of feedback. All right, let's jump into the game. Out here, we have the game fully set up and ready to play for our three different players. Now, before I start, I would like to ask that you please turn on the Klingon subtitles. I might make mistakes as I'm showing you the game, and those will let me put corrections on the screen where you should be able to see them, and I will also put corrections below this video in the top comment. Well, let's start things off with a brief overview of the game. In it, players are going to manage their happiness and joy as they experience the various choices as they go through their life. Now, when you're playing this game, you can either play as a single player or you can play as a couple. A couple is going to win or lose the game together, making decisions together as they go through their life, whereas a single person is not going to have a partner. Every player is associated with a family, though. There are family single and family couple boards that are going to be associated with the players. And as you can see, some people can be couples, some people can be singles. It's entirely up to the preferences of the people who are playing the game. Now, as I mentioned, we are going to be moving through our lives, making a wide variety of decisions as we progress through the game. The game takes place over 10 rounds, and in each round of the game, every player is going to choose one of the action cards that's in the middle of the table, and couples are each going to choose an action card as well. They are not allowed to choose the same action, and then every player is going to simultaneously gain the benefits of the icons on the cards. They do this by marking various things off on their board that match up with those icons, and as you proceed down these tracks on your boards, both your player board and family board, you will gain a variety of bonuses as you complete various segments. Now, these bonuses can increase your happiness, your balance in life, as well as your joy, and it can also stress you out and the more stressed you get, the less happy you are, although the more stress you can get rid of, the more happiness you gain. Now, after every single one of the game's 10 turns, we're going to write our happiness and joy levels down, and then at the end of the game, we're going to add all of those points up, and then also potentially get extra points for children that we were able to raise right throughout the game, and we will also potentially lose points if we don't match up with our shared goals, or if those children are not raised right as we play. Our balance as a family will allow us to score our lowest attribute again, and then we can add everything up into our final score. And then every single player will double their score, and then whoever has the most points will be the winner. Now, there are certainly more things going on than I've even mentioned so far, like going on vacation or posting stories online, and I'll explain the details of how everything works as we are playing the game. For today's tutorial, we are going to play as the single player over here. Our name is Holston Mason. And as you can see, we can write down our name, our hobby, and career, and these don't have mechanical impacts on the game, but they do allow you to get into character more. So we are a traveler, and our career is a historian, and our opponents are Fabian and Portia, and they are a couple, so they are going to win or lose together. Now, Fabian likes to read, and they are an inventor, and Portia loves to explore various areas and has started a career in politics. So, let's now begin the game, and as I mentioned in the overview, we're going to play through 10 total turns. On each turn, the first thing that we do is reset the action row, unless it's the first turn of the game, because we've already put the cards out here during setup. This means it's time for everyone to simultaneously select an action card. Every single player can choose any card of their choice, while every couple has to make sure that they don't choose the same card. They have to split up. Now, players who are not a part of a couple can choose the same action card. And for this first turn of the game, I think we'd like to actually head down here and activate this card. Our opponents are thinking and also talking with each other, trying to discuss what is going to be best for each other, in addition to figuring out what would be best for them as a couple. And it looks like Portia wants to go on this card, which means Fabian can't. And then Fabian is going to go up here to that top action card. 
Now, once again, this is fully simultaneous, and you don't have to commit to an action spot until everyone has decided they've made their decision. So after making this decision, we could change our mind, maybe go here, and if we did, maybe our opponent would change their mind as well. But once we are all happy with it, we can move on. Now, there is a benefit if multiple players choose the same card, and remember, you cannot have people from the same couple selecting the same card. If there are one or more players selecting the same card, then each one of those players is going to gain a like in their digital persona area of their board, crossing off the next spot on this track. So as you can see, there is a positive interaction when opponents visit the same action card. Now that didn't actually happen though, because of course we decided that this card was going to be better for us. So at this point, we finished choosing our cards, and now it's time for us to potentially roll stress dice. The game comes with four of these, and on many of the action cards, there are stress symbols. Now, for every card that was selected by at least one player, if there are any stress symbols on it, one of those players has to roll that number of stress dice, and then every player who selected that action is going to gain stress equal to the result on the dice. Now, each one of these dice has a single blank side. It also has two double stress sides, and then it has three single stress sides. So that means if we had chosen this, then either one of us could roll the dice, and then both of us would gain the same amount of stress. Obviously, once again, we did not choose that, and that means that Fabian needs to roll the stress dice. It looks like they got two stress. That's not great. But I suppose it could have been worse since there are some double stress spots on these dice. Now what happens is every player who's affected by this die roll is going to gain stress equal to the amount shown on those dice. That is two stress, so that means Fabian has to mark two stress down onto their family couple sheet. Stress is shared between a couple, and when you add stress, you simply put an X onto the leftmost empty spot. So they'll place this here, and then they have to do another one of those. Now once you move into a another colored area that is going to affect your overall happiness as a couple. As you can see, if they gain one more stress, they will lose three happiness. Now you can relax in order to remove your stress. And once you remove all stress from one of these colored areas, in that moment you move to the next box and then you increase your happiness. Now I'm sure we'll see stress going up or down soon. And we can now move on because it looks like that was the only stress dice roll that needed to happen in this first round of the game. This means we can all move on to the use action step. Now this is fully simultaneous, and in this step, all players are going to gain the benefits of the actions that they went on, as well as potentially get other benefits that they can chain into during this turn. All players will also gain a bonus action that's going to be different for single players versus couple players, and we'll talk about that soon. Now, for this video, I'm going to be showing each player performing their turns in order around the table, and with that in mind, let's now start with our actions. When we focus on the card that we selected, there are three icons, and the first one to draw your attention to is this. That is relaxation, and it is the opposite of stress. Now, this means we will relax once. And as I mentioned before, that means we are going to remove one stress from our family board. This is our family single board because, of course, we are not part of a couple. And during setup, every single family board gained three stress. So that relaxation will get rid of one stress. And as I just mentioned, as soon as we empty out one of these areas, we move into the next box. In this case, we're heading in that direction, and that is going to increase our happiness by two. Now, everybody tracks their happiness as a family at the top of their family board. As you can see, we started with a happiness level of zero, and that means we're just going to erase this and then put the new value down. I do want to point out you can go negative, although you can never go less than minus three. If you were to hit minus three and need to go more, you would just ignore all the excess negatives. Now we can continue to gain actions from this card, and of course we can take them in any order of our choice. The other two options for us are going to be money as well as a like. And let's gain the like action now. I've already mentioned our digital persona down here, and this icon matches up with that icon. That means when we perform this action, we can do something within that area of our board. And for the like action, it's just going to be progressing down the digital persona track. Now we fill this from left to right, and then we move down to the bottom and go left to right again. And once we fill it entirely, we will actually erase it and start again. This track is functionally infinite. So we can gain a like by marking the first spot. And whenever you cross off a location that has an icon, you will gain the effect of that icon during this turn. And as you can see, we haven't quite got there yet. So I'll explain the details of how these icons work later on in the tutorial. The last action on our card is money. 
In this game, money is always spent on the family board, and as you can see, this is the expenses area. There is a money icon here, and then a couple money icons down there. Now, this one icon means we could spend that one money to increase our home. Instead, we could spend that money to move us down the vehicle track, or if we spent two money on the same turn, we could go on vacation with ourselves. Now, there's reasons for doing all of these things, but one thing that we do have to keep in mind is our shared goal. During setup, each player got two of these and picked one of them, and if we don't meet the conditions on this card by the end of the game, we are going to lose points. So let's focus in on the card that we have. It says, see the world. Now down here, it shows vacation, and it says over the course of the 10 rounds of the game, we have to take at least 12 or six, if we're single, vacations. We are single, so that means we need to take six vacations before the end of the game. For each missing vacation, we are going to lose eight points. If we were a couple, although we only lose four points since we're single, and again, that happens at the end of the game. So what that means is if we were to end the game not going on vacation at all, then we would lose six times four, or 24 points. So we definitely want to go out and see the world. With that in mind, I think I'd like to go on vacation. Now the problem is, vacation costs two money. As I said, we only have one money action available to us right now. However, when we zoom in, you can see that we may invite another player. Now in that case, we would just need to put one money towards this vacation, and the other player would put a money of their own, and then we would go on vacation together. As a single player, we could go on vacation with anybody. It doesn't matter if they're single or a part of a couple. Now, as I mentioned before, this action phase happens simultaneously for all of the players. Now, over here, we can see that Fabian does have a money symbol as part of their overall action. They've been maybe talking with their partner, figuring out what the best thing to do is with that money. And at this point, I think we need to ask Fabian if they want to go on vacation with us. If they do, then we could go on vacation together, or maybe they'll have a different plan for that money. Uh, after asking, they're going to talk with their partner. They've decided, yeah, they do want to go on vacation. So they're going to use this money action of their own to combine with our money action. And that means we have two money collectively and we can now go on vacation with our friend Fabian. The way this works is we're going to cross off the first spot on that track. So this is the first out of six vacations that we really want to do before the end of the game so that we don't suffer any penalties. At the same time, Fabian is also going on vacation with us, so they can mark this off to show that they went on vacation as at least part of their family. Now it's time for us to actually go on that vacation, and the way this works is we're going to draw the top card from this vacations stack. Now every card has two bonuses printed on it, and every player who goes on vacation can choose one of those two options, and we can both choose the same option if we want. In this case, it looks like we went to Cairo, Egypt with Fabian, and the bonus options are bumping our creativity or gaining four joy. Again, Fabian and I will both gain a bonus, and we don't have to agree upon it because both of us could take the same one. And I think I would like to gain four joy. Now, as I mentioned before, happiness is tracked on our family board up here, and joy is also tracked on the board. However, we track it directly over here on the round tracker. We are in the first round of the game and we just gained four joy. So that means we can add a four here. And if we gain or lose joy again during this round, we'll simply erase this number and write the new number down. All joy is worth points equal to its value at the end of the game. So that is us banking four points. Well, at this point, we've used all of the actions on the card, but on every one of our turns, we also get a bonus action. When you are playing as a single player, that bonus action is simply going to be activating one of these actions again. If you are playing as part of a couple, then that bonus action involves choosing any option from your partner's selected card, and I'm sure we'll see that happen once we see what Fabian and Portia do during this round. This means, technically, we could have gone on vacation by ourselves by using this money once for its printed value and then once for that bonus as a single person, but I'm okay with going on a vacation with Fabian and gaining something else for this extra action. In this case, I think let's go for relaxation again, and that will remove another one of our stress. If we're able to remove this last stress mark, then as a benefit, we'll immediately gain four more joy. Well, at this point, we've done everything we can on this turn, but of course, Fabian and Portia also have actions to perform, and all of these can happen simultaneously. For the moment, I think let's focus on Fabian. They've already used this one money to go on a vacation with us, and in fact, they still need to take a bonus from this vacation card. After considering the two options, they've decided to go with creativity. Now, as you can see, that is associated with this track, which is within the knowledge area of the board. That means they will mark off the next spot in that creativity row. And I do want to point out that they already had one creativity and that came from their background card. 
Every player got one of these during setup, and this one specifically increased their nutrition once, and then they had the option of going up once on either of the knowledge tracks. They chose creativity. And we can see their nutrition they gained in setup is also up there. Now that they've gained that creativity, let's focus in. As you can see, each one of these tracks is split into various sections with these gray lines in between, and at the end of them, there are various bonuses. Now these bonuses come in three different colors, those being blue, black, as well as purple. Now whenever you complete a section, you may immediately perform all of the bonuses associated with it. Every time you get a blue bonus, that will be applied only to that specific player. Every time you get a purple bonus, you will get it and your partner will also get it if you are in a couple or if you are a single player, then you'll get that bonus twice. And lastly, every time you get one of these black bonuses, that is going to be an opportunity that you can take advantage of. The opportunity symbol is this arrow diamond. And as you can see, it shows opportunity next to this social icon all in black. And what that means is during this turn, they have the opportunity to spend one social action, and instead of going up a track with that action, they will use it for this opportunity. Then they will cross off the lowest opportunity box on this track at the bottom of their board, and the leftmost unmarked off spot will be worth that amount of points at the end of the game. So that means during this turn, they could use a social action to go up one of these tracks or decide it's better used down here for an opportunity. Now, currently, they don't have any social actions on their action card, but we can see that there is a four-leaf clover icon here. Now, that is a wild action, which lets you do anything of your choice, and they can also see that there is a social action on their partner's action card. Remember, every player gets a bonus action on their turns, and as part of the couple, the bonus involves taking an action from your partner's card. So that means Fabian is going to be gaining one health or one social anyway, and they figure they are going to use this social from their partner's card in order to capitalize on this opportunity. Now, the way they show this is they cross off this opportunity icon, and then because they took this opportunity, they will cross off the social icon and then cross this off down here. Now, again, this is optional, and then if they did not want to take advantage of this opportunity, they would simply cross off the opportunity icon and not cross off the action icon, and of course, not cross off something down here. Either way, they felt it was worth it, as you can see that took them from zero to five end game points on their opportunity track. Now the other thing they may gain is an increase to their balance. That is what this icon shows. So they can gain it by crossing it out and then they can increase the balance of their family by crossing out the previous balance number and writing in the new balance number, which is one. Now at the end of the game, each player is going to score for their balance and specifically their balance is going to score for their least scoring attribute on their player boards. Now I'll explain how that works in more detail later on. Just know that it's never a bad thing to increase your family's balance. Well, at this point, Fabian has used the bonus from their partner's card, but over here, they still have not used their four-leaf clover or their time action. Remember, this is wild, and they can use it for any action type, and they've decided they're going to turn this into time. So that means they're going to get two time actions. Now they're going to use the time action from this four-leaf clover in order to progress on one of the two tracks associated with time. Those options are business or career, and they've decided to go with business. So they'll cross this off. And one of the reasons they are doing this is because they have this goals card. Now during setup, Every player got two personal goals and they chose one and discarded the other one. And for Fabian, they chose entrepreneur. Now, what this means is they want to focus on their business and career tracks. And specifically, three times through the game, they will check to see how many X marks they have in that overall area. And depending on how many they have, they will increase their joy by the associated amount. Personal goals will be checked at the end of the 4th, 7th, and 10th rounds of the game, and you can tell that due to the blue background in each one of these rows on the round track. So by the end of the 4th round, if they have 3 or more cross marks in this overall area, they'll gain 2 extra joy. And of course, if they're able to get even more by that point, they'll score even more joy over the course of the game because they are meeting their personal goals. Right now, they've just put one cross down there. And at the moment, as I said, they have one more time action they could spend and they could use it over here or over there. But we can see if they use it here, that will unlock an opportunity for them to use a knowledge action to increase their opportunity track. They currently don't have any knowledge actions to use, so they would forfeit that benefit, but they would also gain money and they would increase the number of end game victory points they get from this track. They've decided instead they're gonna hold on that and they want to spend that time over here on their family couple board. As you can see, there's two different options. One is a pet track, and the other one is a family track, where you can actually have children increasing the size of your overall family. Now, if you look over here, 
the pet track takes one time to increase, whereas if you want to increase on the family track, both players have to spend a time during the same turn. Now, Fabian wants to spend a time doing this, and of course, they're talking to their partner, Portia, about it, and Portia says they're going to spend a time as well. And Portia can do that because, of course, their bonus action gets them one icon from their partner's card, and there is a time and also a wild icon, so they certainly could do that. So their bonus is going to be gaining a time, and they will combine that with Fabian's time over here, which means they collectively, as a family, can cross this spot off. Now that has immediately completed a section on that track, and the first effect of that is they increase their happiness by one. So they go from zero up to one. And then they'll gain this bonus, which is them growing their family by gaining a child. Now, specifically, they have to take a child from the appropriate stack. As you can see, this is a stack of children for couples players, and this is a stack for children of single players. That means we can also have a child, and for us, it just takes one time. Now, of course, if we did this, we'd draw from the single pile, but our opponents are a couple. So they simply draw the top card of the deck. You don't know what kind of kid you're going to get until you have it. And in this case, <laughs> nice, they have a board gamer. Now this is a child and they're going to put that card next to their family board. And that child has given them a new track. As you can see, that shows the money icon. So that means that now they could spend money icons to proceed down this smaller track. And as soon as they complete it, you'll notice there are two purple benefits. That means both people in the couple will gain that benefit. So both Fabian and Portia would gain a creativity and they would both gain a like. Of course, they do need to spend three money making that happen. Now down here, it says if the track is not completed by the end of the game, they will lose six points. So buying some board games is certainly something they want to focus on. Now, there's another reason why they've decided to do that, and that involves their shared goal. Remember, for us, we want to see the world and go on vacations, but our opponents have the card that says children are a blessing. Down below, it says family, and it says they need to have three children with all of their tracks completed. For each uncompleted track, they lose 20 points at the end of the game. So it made sense for them to start working on increasing their family size immediately because they have to have three kids with complete tracks by the end of the game, and that's going to take a decent amount of work. But of course, when you complete a kid's track, you get quite a bit of benefits from that as well. Well, at this point, Fabian is done with all their actions, although Portia still has a health and a social action that they have not used. For their health action, they've decided to work on their nutrition. They can fill this in, and that's the only thing that happens to them right now. I do want to point out that this health area is a grid, though. As you can see, there are bonuses as you go to the right, and there are also bonuses down at the bottom. You get the bonuses on the bottom each time you complete a full column of cross marks. Lastly, they have that social action, so they can increase their friendship or their romance. They already have one friendship because of their charismatic background that they started the game with. That gave them the friendship, and it also gave them one money action that they already used to work on their home. We can see the home track up here. As you proceed down it, you're going to gain happiness as well as more points at the end of the game. Out of these two options, they've decided they're going to go for romance. They could have gone for friendship and immediately increased their family's balance by one, but they also like the extra benefits of romance. As you can see on the romance track, there are these icons down below, and players will gain these effects once both players in a couple have reached that specific spot. So if Portia had crossed all the way up to here, they would not get this bonus of increased relaxation until Fabian had also increased up to that specific spot. As you can see, it shows the bonus and the two hearts down here. So they are working towards that. If both Fabian and Portia mark the first two spots by the end of the game, they will unlock these four points. Now, I do want to point out that you can still proceed down the romance track if you are single, and every time you reach one of these spots as a single player, you immediately gain those benefits. Well, at this point, I think everyone has used all of the actions available to them in this first round, so we can now move on to the final step of the round where we are going to score our happiness. The way this works is very simple. We look to our happiness level currently, and we write that in on the current round. We don't change the happiness, so as you can see, we got a two, and this is points at the end of the game. That means if we don't modify our happiness at the end of the second round, we're once again gonna get those two points. So it is a good thing to have your happiness ongoing. However, I do want to point out that joy is a fleeting thing, and it is gonna stick around just for that round. As we move into the second round, our joy effectively resets back down to zero, and we can make it go up or down depending on the actions that we perform. Well, we finished the first round out of 10, and what that means is we can move into the second round, and the first thing that we have to do is renew the action display. We do that by getting rid of all of the cards. It does not matter if players use them or not, and then we're going to deal four more cards out from the deck. 
Now we can all simultaneously choose our actions. There's a lot of good stuff out here, although for us, I think this is going to be the best. The reason for that is because there is money, which we can use to go on vacation, which is going to match up with our See the World goal. And there's also a social icon, which helps us out with our own personal goal. As you can see, we want to be social. So we want to put more tracks in the social area. So by choosing this spot, we're going to work on both of those, although we are going to have to roll a stress die and potentially get stressed out. We'll just have to see if that happens. Of course, while we're thinking about this, our opponents are also making these decisions. And it looks like Fabian wants to go to the same card we are going to, and Porsche is going to go down here. Now, I think we're all good with these decisions, and now only one stress die needs to be rolled. Either one of us can do that, and it'll affect both of us. It looks like, nice, that's a blank. I think everybody's happy to see that. After that, we can see there is a relaxation icon down here, so Portia can take that, and that will remove one stress from their family board. Next up, every player who chose a card that has another player on it will gain one like. So that means we will get a like, and so will Fabian. That's going to be our second like of the game, and Fabian's first. Now we can all perform actions simultaneously, and we'll see what we do first. We have a like, a social action, and money, and of course we can do one of these again because we are a single player, and let's start things off by gaining that like. As you can see, when we do that, we're going to cross off a four-leaf clover wild action icon, so that is a wild action we have to perform on this turn, or we'll lose it. There's of course no reason not to use that icon, and I think let's use it on knowledge so that we can increase our education. As you can see, we started with one education due to our background. That was as a saver. We gained a vehicle mark and we also got to choose a knowledge action. And during setup, we chose education. Now at this point, we gain these benefits. This is going to give us one like and that's going to get us end game points. At the end of the game, we're going to score every one of the rows and the largest one of these numbers we reached is going to be what we score. So that has us getting four points. And if we make it all the way to the end, then we'll score nine points for this row instead. Once again, you don't score all of them. You just score the largest one that you achieved. So of course we do get a like and we'll count these four points once the game is over. That like brings us here, so we are one spot away from increasing our happiness, and we are three spots away from posting a story online. I won't describe the details of that just yet, but I'm sure we'll get to it soon. Well, we've used the like, and we have these two still, and I think we should go on vacation. It is our shared goal, and that means we could use this money, and then remember, as our bonus, we can do one of these again, and we're going to take another money, so that means we have two money, so we can go on vacation by ourselves. Now, when you go on vacation by yourself and spend two money, you're going to mark off two X's on this track. So that vacation effectively counted for two. I guess maybe it's a couple of vacations we took in short proximity, or it was just an enormous vacation that we spoiled ourselves with. Now, unfortunately, we don't gain any benefits just yet, although we now have half the vacations that we need by the end of the game to not suffer a penalty for our shared goal. As you can see, the next time we go on vacation, we'll start to get rewards, though. This is going to relax us, which will lower our stress. Then we'll start increasing the amount of points we get. And there's more relaxation, happiness, and relaxation as we continue down this track. Of course, we have to actually go on vacation, which means we can draw the top vacation card. So let's draw the top card, and it looks like we are going to Tokyo, Japan. Now, whenever you go on vacation by yourself, you get both of the bonuses. So that means we can advance our meditation and romance tracks once. This is our meditation track, and we don't get anything immediately. And then romance down here also doesn't get us anything immediately. Although, since we are single, the next time we gain a romance, we will unlock four points for ourselves at the end of the game. And of course, we'll get a like. Actually, speaking of this, the last thing we have to do on our turn is spend a social action. I think let's spend it on romance. We can cross that off, which means we will get this at the end of the game because we are single, and we can immediately gain a like, which will increase our happiness by one. So our happiness is already up to three. And I believe we've now done all of our actions. Now let's see what our opponents are doing. Fabian's going to start things off with a like action, which will bring them here, one away from that wild action bonus. And then they'll use this social action to increase their romance once. Remember, as a couple, it makes sense to try and work down these tracks, not necessarily evenly, but by the end of the game, you want to try and be even, at least to get these various bonuses on those spots on the tracks. So they both marked off the romance once. And now Fabian has some money to spend. There are lots of ways to spend money in this game. You can work on your house. You can also spend money on vehicles for the two players as a couple. And for them, they have a child who loves board games, and board games definitely cost money. 
They do have to finish this track by the end of the game, as well as the tracks on a couple of other children in order to not suffer a penalty from this goal. So they've decided to spend that money on their board gamer child. They can cross this off, and nothing happens yet, although they are two spaces away from getting these bonuses for both of them. While we're looking over here, it looks like Portia also wants to spend a money on their board gaming child, and they are going to do that with the use of their special action, which lets them take any option from the card of their partners, and they'll just use that money icon there. At this point, Fabian has used all of these actions, but they haven't used their bonus action yet, and they've decided they're going to take the like. That is going to unlock a wild action for themselves, and they will use that as a money to cross off this final spot on their board gamer child's card. Once they do that, they will gain these bonuses. Remember, since they are purple, that means both players in the couple will gain that benefit. So Fabian and Portia will both increase their creativity once, and they will also both gain a like. So far, Fabian has been working a lot more on their digital persona than Portia has been. And it looks like Fabian has been a lot more creative as well. They are two spaces away from getting three thumbs and a wild action. Over here, we can see this is Portia's first creativity action of the game. Now, Fabian is done with their actions, but Portia isn't. They have used their bonus action over here for that money for their child. But down here, we can see Portia is going to get a like as well as a social action. And that like is their second. And then for the social action, they're going to work on romance more. That is going to complete this segment, which will get them a like which means they can cross this off, which will get them a wild action of their choice. They're going to use that wild as a money, and they're going to work on their car. We can see that is the first of two spots to finish this section, and if they mark that second spot, then they will have an opportunity where they could spend time to increase that track. Now, Portia is an opportunist when it comes to their personal goal, and that means they want to have many of these opportunities by the time this is scored. Currently, they don't have any, so they're essentially setting themselves up for the future where they could capitalize on this opportunity more easily. Well, at this point, everyone has used all their actions, so now we can finish the round by scoring our happiness. We are going to gain three, and our opponents will gain one. I just realized I forgot to actually write their one down for the first round as well. Their happiness did not change in the second round, so there should have been a one there, and then they'll add another one here. So at the moment, we've got a lot more points on our scoring track than our opponents do, but they're certainly not feeling out of it considering the other stuff they've been working on. Well, the second round is over, and that means we can get ready for the third round by discarding all of the action cards, and now we can deal out four more. It looks like three out of these four have stress icons on them. This one has relaxation, and oh, that's interesting. This has an opportunity symbol on it. Whenever you perform this, you just immediately cross off the next opportunity at the bottom of your board. Now it's time for all of us to choose a card, and considering Portia is an opportunist, we're not too surprised to see that they want to go up here to gain that opportunity right off the bat. Fabian has decided to go down here with the relaxation, maybe hoping to counteract the potential stress that's going to be coming on. And of course, we also need to make this decision. If we go here or here, it looks like we will get a like as well as one of those opponents. Of course, we don't necessarily need to go there. We might not want to give them the likes, although those are good for us to have as well. When it comes to our personal goal, we want to increase our social marks, but there are no social icons out here, except of course for this wild icon up there. That is tempting, but these two stress dice is a little worrisome, even though currently we're not very stressed. We've only got one mark on our track. I think let's hedge our bets and go over here. That will allow us to potentially spend two money to go on a vacation, or maybe we'll spend two time on something else. Either way, I think this is going to give us some good options. I'm going to go with this, so there are going to be no like bonuses for players choosing the same action. And now Portia is going to roll two stress dice. It looks like, oh wow, minus three stress for them. And then we have to roll one stress die, and we get minus two. So that did not go too well for us either. So our opponents are going to gain three stress, although they are going to remove one of it because Fabian is going to get this relaxation. So that means it looks like this. And of course, they did just enter a new stress section. And when they go there, they're going to lower their happiness by three. It was at one. So that means, unfortunately for them, because of their stress, their happiness is now minus two. And they probably want to try and get that back up again because, of course, these are victory points that we get as we continue through the game. The minimum value over here is minus three, and they are close to that right now. Of course, we also got stress. We rolled a two on that die, so we're going to cross off two of these, and we entered a new section, so we're going to lower our happiness by two. That's going to bring us from three down to one. 
Well, we'll now perform actions simultaneously, and once again, let's see what we're going to do before we see what our opponents do. Now, over here, there is a like, a time, and a money, and of course, our bonus action lets us do one of these again. One thing we could do is get two money and then go on vacation ourselves, but I actually really like the idea of getting two time, and I think that's what we're going to go for. The reason for this is because I'd like to get a pet. As you can see, we can spend time on this pet track, and for each time we spend, we'll cross one spot off. So we could cross just once, but if we did it twice right now, we would get both of these benefits for completing that section. So yeah, we're gonna use one time, and then our bonus action will be getting us another time, and that is going to get us a relaxation, which is certainly a good thing. When we erase this stress, we will immediately gain two happiness. So we're back up to three, thanks to that pet. We are also going to gain one like, which we can track right over here. Now we are one spot away from being able to post a story and let's use this like action coming from our card in order to mark that spot off. So we can cross this off and then choose a story to post. The way this works is we'll draw the top two cards from the post a story deck and then we're going to choose one of these. It looks like, huh, that's thematic. This one says pet. Down below it says one player from each couple and other singles may join this bonus by giving the player who played the story a like. Now that is what every single one of these cards says. So when we choose one of these, we're going to put it face up in the middle of the table. We will get that benefit. And then again, one person from every couple and every single can gain that benefit as well. And if they do, we're going to gain a like from each one of those people. Now we could work on our nutrition or we could put this pet down, which of course also lets our opponents work on their pet track. Thematically, the pet makes a lot of sense considering we just got it, and I think we do want to post a story about that pet. So that means we will gain a pet action immediately, and this other card will be placed face down on top of the deck. Posting that story increases our pet track again, and then the opposing couple can also gain this benefit, but if they do, we will gain a like. Now, pets are certainly good to have around. Uh, they help things out like gaining likes as well as decreasing stress, and they've decided to go for it. So that means they will mark one spot off on their pet track. They still have a couple of spaces to go before they gain a benefit, and of course, because they liked this, we will gain that like by marking another spot on our track. At this point, we've used all of our actions except for this one money over here. And with one money, we could potentially go on vacation as long as somebody else decides to spend a money in order to join us on that vacation. We could go by ourselves if we had two money, but currently we only have the one. If we went on vacation, the next spot would actually lower our stress by one, which would be nice. But unfortunately, when we talk to our opponents about it, it looks like they are not interested in spending a money for that. They don't have any money symbols on these cards. There is a wild symbol up here, but they've decided they want to spend that in a different way. So we're not going on vacation, it looks like. So we should spend that money on our home or the vehicle. Now, if we go to the vehicle, that would give us some relaxation. It'll also unlock some end game points and it gives us an opportunity to spend a time in order to mark an opportunity off on our board. We don't currently have a time to spend though, so I think let's just work on our home. That puts us one step away from here, which is gonna start increasing our balance. So far, we haven't done anything to our balance just yet. Well, we finished all of our actions, and of course our opponents are also taking actions at the same time. Let's start over here with Fabian, and the first thing they're going to do is get their bonus action from Portia's card. They are going to take this, which is a wild action, and they're going to use that as if it was time. And with that time, they're going to mark right here. Now that finishes this section, so that unlocked their opportunity where they could spend one knowledge action in order to mark an opportunity down. Fabian does have a knowledge action on the card they chose, so they are going to use that knowledge action to satisfy this opportunity, and that means they can cross this off down here. This also increases the points they're going to get for the section by three at the end of the game, and they also gain a money action. With that money, they've decided to work on this vehicle, and that finishes this section. Now, if they spent a time, they could make use of that opportunity, but it looks like they're not actually going to be doing that. So this can be crossed off, but that one won't be. Then they will gain a relaxation, and this is the main reason they're going up here. That is going to lower their stress by one, and since that cleared out this section, they're going to increase their happiness by three, so they go from minus two up to one. That also unlocks two points at the end of the game on that vehicle track. 
At this point, the only thing Fabian hasn't done is use this like, so they're going to do that now. And that is going to cross off a happiness symbol, so they'll increase their happiness by one. That brings them up to two. And it looks like Fabian is done, although Portia is also performing these actions. The first thing they want to do is this, and that simply lets them gain the next opportunity. This is their first opportunity. And once again, they are an opportunist. So they are hoping to get at least two opportunities complete by the end of the fourth round of the game. And of course, the more they complete, the more joy they will get when these are scored three times during the game. After this, Portia will gain a like, which they can track right over here. At this point, Portia has a wild action to spend and a bonus action from this card. They've decided to take the knowledge for their bonus, and they're going to put that towards creativity. When they do this, they can now gain an opportunity if they spend a social action, and they're going to use that wild action to satisfy this. So that means they can cross that off, and that is the second opportunity they've gained this round, and they are also going to increase their balance by one. So it's going to go from one up to two. We are all done with actions, so now we can record our happiness. It looks like we have three, and our opponents have two, so they are still lagging behind us on this track. All right, the third round is done, so we can now get ready for the fourth round. The first thing we have to do is reset the action cards, and now we can see the new cards that we have to choose from this round. There is quite a bit of stress around here. In fact, every single card shows at least one stress icon on it. It looks like there's a decent amount of health icons showing up as well. Now we all have to pick our cards for the round. And it looks like Fabian wants to go up here and Portia wants to go down there. So they're both dodging this double stress spot. Although, of course, there are still two dice that will be rolled for them as a couple. We, of course, also have to choose one of these. And I think we'll go down here and really work on health actions this round. Now dice have to be rolled. We will start up here with Fabian. It looks like they got a blank. Ooh, that's really good for our opponents. Uh, then down here, one die will be rolled, and it's going to affect both of us, and it's a single stress. So our opponents gain one stress, which is going to lower their happiness by three, so they are once again in the negative. And then we also gain a stress, and that is going to lower our happiness by two, bringing us down to one. Now we can also see that multiple players pick the same card. So that means Portia is going to gain one like, and that is going to get them one happiness. And we are also going to gain a like, which is not going to give us any bonus. So let's increase their happiness now, which brings them back to zero. All right, it's now time for us to all simultaneously perform our actions, and we'll start with ourselves. The first thing we'll take is this like. When we do that, we're going to move to the bottom row and work again from the left to right, and that is a relaxation symbol. So that's going to relax us, which is going to get rid of one stress. That has cleared out this section, so we're going to gain two happiness back, which brings us from one back up to three. Now we have a couple of health actions, and remember we get a bonus action, which is going to be one of these again. So we could get another like, or we could take three health actions on this turn, and I think that is what we want to do. Now we could gain an opportunity if we had money to spend, but it doesn't look like we have any money this turn. But that doesn't stop us from marking this off. If we used our three health actions to go here, here, and here, we would finish this column and increase our happiness by one. That is certainly a good thing. Happiness is essentially ongoing points that we log every round. But another thing that we can do is move along the rows. I think that is what we're going to do. Let's spend our first out of three health actions going into meditation, which will fill this out. That's going to get us a like, which we can use to fill this. Then with the next health action, we could go to meditation again, but we once again have an opportunity we'd have to skip over because we don't have time to spend. So I think instead what we're going to do is go to nutrition and then do nutrition again. So those are the three health actions we've done, and this gets us another like action, and that is going to get us a purple clover. Now the clover is a wild action, and remember, as a single player, whenever you get a purple benefit, you get it twice. So that means we get two wild actions right now. We have a lot of options with these two actions, but if you remember, we want to see the world, and in order to go on vacation by ourselves, we have to spend two money. So I think both of those wilds will become money so that we can go on a vacation, and since we went with ourselves, we can mark two of these spots off. Now, this spot right here is going to start getting us points at the end of the game, and that gets us a relaxation. That means we can get rid of one stress, which means we have just one stress currently. Remember, if you clear out this last stress, you immediately get four joy, and you get four joy again every time you continue to relax if you have no stress marks on there. 
we now have five marks out of the six that we need to not suffer a penalty at the end of the game. So we are close to our vacation goal overall. And now we also get to go on vacation. So let's draw the top card of that deck. Well, it looks like we have gone on vacation to Wanaka, New Zealand. Now we get to take both of these benefits because we went on vacation by ourselves. So that's going to increase our sports once and our creativity once. That is our first creativity, and it's also our first sport. And now one more health action up here will finish that column and then increase our happiness by one. And it looks like we're also well on our way to completing this column, which will get us some relaxation. There's also some good benefits over here if you make it all the way across the row. You've got some wild actions, relaxation, a bunch of likes, as well as points at the end of the game. Well, at this point, we've finished all of our actions, and of course our opponents are taking their actions at the same time. And it appears they've decided to also work on their shared goal, which is, again, to have a large family. Now, in order to have another child, both of them need to spend a time. So it looks like Fabian is going to use this time, and then Portia is going to use their bonus action to also use this time. So that is two time actions, which means they can mark off one slot on their family track. And as you can see, that will get them both alike because this is a purple action, which means they are both so close to being able to post a story. This child is also going to increase their happiness by one. And then, of course, they have to draw the top child card from the couple's children deck. So they now get to see what kind of child they had, and it says love animals. Now that is going to cost them a time to fill this track in, and once they do, they will each get a wild action, and then that will increase their relaxation by one. We can also see there is an extra restriction on this card. It says they must have at least finished one section on their pet track in order to advance this track at all. When we look back at their family board, they have one pet action, but they need to do two more in order to complete that section. So they can't put anything towards this child until they've spent two more time on this pet. Of course, when they do, each of them will get two likes, which is pretty powerful. Now, before we move on, you may be curious about the differences between the couple and single children decks. We obviously did not have any children so far in this game, so let's take a quick look. As you see, they don't have any purple effects because it's just you. There is no couple effect there. Also, in general, they are easier to complete. And of course, you get the benefits when you complete that overall section. Well, our opponents can continue to perform actions. And Fabian has used this time, but they've not used this like, and they're going to gain that now. Once they fill this in, that is going to allow them to post a story. So they will draw the top two cards from that deck and then they can choose one, and they've decided to go with creativity. So that gets them a creativity action, which they can log down here, and they are just one spot away from finishing out this section, and those bonuses are great. Three likes as well as a wild action. Of course, as they post the story, all of the opposing singles and opposing couples can choose to like it and gain that effect. Of course, if they do, then Fabian will gain another like. In this game, it's just us, though, and we have to decide if gaining a creativity is worth giving Fabian a like. And I think it probably is. Let's fill this in. And we don't have a social action to spend, so we can't make use of this opportunity. But we do get to increase our balance. And it also just works us forward along to some of the better effects down on this track. So our balance goes from 0 up to 1. And then, of course, Fabian gains a like because we liked their post that they just put out. This is done, and speaking of posting a story, it looks like Portia wants to spend this like in order to do the same. So they can draw the top two cards from that deck and choose one of them. And they've decided to post a story about friendship. They already have one friendship, so when they mark this down, that finishes the section, and that will increase their balance by one, which means it now goes up to three. After that, we can like this post to gain a friendship, which doesn't get us anything right now. However, our personal goal is social, and that gets us benefits for marking off X's in this area. So I think we probably should like that post, which means we will gain a friendship action. And then because of that, Portia will gain a like. At this moment, our opponents still have a few actions to perform. Up here, Fabian has a social action, and they also haven't used their bonus action just yet. And they've decided to use that social action to increase their romance track. That means they immediately get one like. And this also means that both of them have reached this spot. So each of them has unlocked the four-point spot for the end of the game. 
The last thing Fabian has is a bonus action from Portia's card, and they've decided to gain a like for it. When they do this, they are going to gain one relaxation, which is pretty important because that once again clears this section, and they will increase their happiness by three. So that brings them up to four. At this point, Fabian is done with actions, but Portia still has two health actions to do. They have already done their bonus action. Remember, that was the time for them to gain their second child. So once again, Portia has two health actions to spend, and they've decided to put one of those towards nutrition because that is going to get them one like, and they are a single like away from another relaxation, but it looks like they're not going to get there on this turn. With their other health action, they've decided to go over here into meditation. Well, we're all done with actions, so now we can log our happiness. And for us, that's going to be three for the third round in a row. Now, as you can see, this is a blue bar behind the fourth row. That is there to remind us that this is one of the rounds where we also score joy for our personal goal. Remember, ours is social, and that means we have to count up the marks in our social area. And specifically, we only count off the marks on these main tracks or for completed opportunities. We don't count marks on various bonuses like this. So in our social area, we have one, two, three. And if we look over here, we need three or more to gain two joy. If we had eight or more at this point, we get five joy, which would be great. And even though we're not there now, we are gonna score this two more times throughout the game. So it still makes sense to focus on the social area as we continue to play. So for the moment, we can gain two joy which we will add to the other joy we've gained this round. In this case, that's the only joy we got. Of course, our opponents are also going to record their happiness. It's above ours for the first time in the game. They are at four, and then they will also score for their personal goals. Over here, Fabian is an entrepreneur, so they're going to count their X marks in the business and career area. And if they have three or more, they will score two joy. We can see they have one, two, three, because this is an opportunity they crossed off, so that does count for their personal goal. That means they will get two joy. And then over here, we can see that Portia needed to get two or more opportunities completed in order to get these two joy. If they were at four, they'd get five joy. And they really thought on this turn, trying to find a way to get up to four, but they couldn't quite see it. So they are at this level, so they also get two joy. That means as a couple, they will gain four joy and they can mark that right over here. Well, at this point, we've completed the fourth round, and I am now going to stop playing through the game and instead discuss what happens once the game is over. Remember, the game will end after everyone has completed 10 full rounds, and at that point, we will all move into final scoring. So let's go ahead and pretend the game is over to see what our scores currently are. The first thing that we do is score our character sheet, and we will put our scores in these slots for the various sections. We can begin with health, and it looks like we have not unlocked any points so far, so that is a zero. Then for social, we have unlocked four points. Remember, if we got farther, we would get six points instead of four. These are not cumulative. So at this moment, we have a four there. Then for knowledge, we have four points for this track and no points for creativity. We don't get points for that until we reach the very end. So that is four points. And then for time, that's down here, and we haven't spent any time on our business or our career, which kind of makes sense. We've spent most of the game going on vacation so far. Finally, we have the opportunities, and we've not been focusing on that either, so that is also a zero. Now we're going to add all of these up, and we have a character score of eight. And of course, we've only played four out of ten rounds. Once you've completed ten rounds, these scores will all hypothetically be a lot bigger. So we're going to take that character score and add it over here onto our family sheet, and then we're going to score for our family sheet. Once again, we check each one of these rows, scoring for the biggest number that we've reached, and as of this moment, it looks like we just have the one point over there, and after that, we're going to add up all of the points we've logged for happiness as well as joy. So far in this game, we've done pretty well with that. We already have 17 and then we have to check for penalties. These are going to come into play from children as well as shared goals. If we had any children at the end of the game that are not fully complete, we would lose points depending on what that card says. We haven't taken on any children yet, so that's not a problem for us. But then also for our shared goals, we will potentially lose points. Now, I think it's very likely we'd finish this off by the end of the game. But if we were scoring it right now, it says as a single player, we need six vacations. And for each missing vacation, we're going to lose four points as a single player at the end of the game. Currently, we have five instead of six, so we are missing one. So if we were scoring this right now, we would lose four points total. 
The final thing we'll score is our balance. The way this works is we will find our balance value, and we will multiply that by our lowest score over here on our character board. As you can see, we have a few zeros, so right now it would be one times zero or zero. But as you see, if you increase your balance as the game goes on, you are motivated to make sure that even the lowest one of these is giving you some amount of points so that you can make use of that balance that you've already gained. Now we can add all of this up, and then as a single player, we're going to multiply that by 2. Currently, we have 22 points over here, so we can multiply that by 2 to give us our final score of 44. And then, of course, we have to score up for our opponents to see where they are currently at. Now, each one of them are going to score their character boards individually. So let's do that now. It looks like Fabian has no points for their health, and Portia has none as well. Then for social, they both get four points because they have reached that spot together on the romance track. It looks like no other points are here in the social area for either of them. And now for knowledge, we can see that Fabian has not reached any points just yet, and neither has Portia. So they can move on to the business and career areas. It looks like Fabian is at the three-point spot. And then Portia is at zero. Finally, they can score for opportunities. Fabian is at the 10-point spot, and it looks like Portia is also at the 10-point spot. Now, each of them can add up their points. It looks like Fabian is at 17, and Portia is at 14. These numbers will be added onto the family board, and now they can score their family board. Currently, it looks like they're getting two points for this vehicle and three points for that child, so they're at five. And then they can add up their joy and happiness, which is a lot lower than ours. It looks like they have 12 total right now. Remember, we had 17. Now they would score penalties, and it looks like they currently have a child that is not complete. Down here, it says if the track isn't complete, they will lose six points. And then they have not completed their shared goal just yet, because for that, they need to have three children with their tracks complete. And they are going to lose 20 points for each uncomplete track at the end of the game. Obviously, this is devastating right now, and certainly why these players should be focusing on their family. But again, if we were scoring this right now, they have two incomplete tracks because they only have one complete over here. So I guess that's minus 40 plus another minus six over here. So that's minus 46. This certainly shows why they're so motivated to complete those things before the actual end of the game. And then, of course, they can score balance. The way this works as a couple is each player is going to find the balance for their family and they will multiply that by their lowest attribute. Of course, we're still early in the game, so it's zero for both of them, but they do have their balance up to three, which is a lot better than ours at one. So they are even more motivated to try and balance things out to score at least something for those balance points at the end of the game. The final thing they have to do is add all of these points up and it looks like they are currently just barely in the black. They have one point because of their minus 46 over here, but again, this is not the actual end of the game, and I'm confident they'd be able to complete their shared goal with the following six rounds, in which case they would not suffer this massive penalty. And if it were for that, they're doing quite well overall here. They've definitely gained more points than we have when you ignore the current penalty situation. Once all players have finished scoring, the single player or couple who have the most points will be the winner, and if there is a tie, then players will share in the victory. Well, at this point, I do believe I've taught just about all of the rules to the game, so that's going to bring this tutorial to a close. I hope you enjoyed learning how to play your best life. As always, I'd like to thank everyone who's been supporting this channel, including these producer-level Patreon supporters. If you too would like to directly support the channel in the creation of future videos like this one, then please go to jongetsgames.com support. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please click the like button for it down below, as well as the subscribe button for the channel. Thanks for watching.